the most expensive cheese in the world is from a donkey? Would you pay 1,200 US dollars for one kilogram of this crumbly, pungent smelling cheese? Why is this donkey cheese so expensive? Is it because of rare Serbian donkeys? A mysterious recipe? Or is it because it's illegal in the European Union? Leave your guesses in the comments, and by the end of the video, you'll know the answers. This extravagant cheese, also known as pule, was created in Serbia by the managing director of the Zasafisa Special Nature Reserve, Slobodan Simic. Nearly 25 years ago, the Balkan donkey was a threatened breed, with less than 1,000 left in Serbia. The farm was built by Simic to help rehabilitate the population, and milk was needed. The project was a success. But one unintended positive result was too much milk being produced. So they decided to make this now famous cheese. When life hands you milk, make cheese. This process was a challenge initially because donkey milk lacks the proper amount of protein to coagulate into cheese, requiring it to be mixed with 40% goat milk. The rest of the ingredients are a highly guarded secret that only two people know. What also makes this cheese so unique is that it's produced nowhere else in the world. And there are other contributing factors to the massive price tag. We can start with the annual maintenance bill of about $100,000 to run the farm and cover the expense of feeding hundreds of animals. But it's the care and time that goes into milking the donkeys by hand that really help push the numbers up. After a Balkan donkey gives birth, there's a six-month window where it produces milk. The first three months are reserved for the foal. Pule requires almost 30 liters of milk to make one kilogram of cheese. That's more than double what mozzarella needs. Farmers have to hand milk each donkey three times daily. Why so much? Taking just a few days off could mean a donkey stops producing milk. This is crucial because after the six-month window closes, they'll have to wait at least another year before a donkey can be bred and the all-natural production starts up again. The aging process begins when the cheese mixture is placed in a mold about 50 grams in size. After a few days, it's removed from the mold and it's left to sit for a couple more months. The end result is a rich, crumbly texture with a nutty and earthy flavor. Because it's not pasteurized, it can also have a bit of a pungent smell. I don't even trust cheese that doesn't smell like feet. Pule can only be served fresh. This is a huge problem because it's against the law to sell raw milk cheese in countries that are part of the EU. This is why only a third of the donkey cheese produced each year gets consumed. However, the uniqueness of this cheese and the mystique surrounding the closely guarded recipe has increased its popularity over time. This trend has also driven up the demand and price, and those who can afford it have no issue paying the $1,200 for just one kilo. What other crazy overpriced food is out there that people will eat? How about making a meal out of a very real and expensive bird nest? We'll have the answers to those questions on more episodes of Origins of Food. Thank you.